From the studios at WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. A body of a woman reported missing Tuesday morning in Garrett County has been recovered. Police say the woman was found dead in a submerged truck in the Dix River near Harrington Lake. The woman's identity has not been released. The body has been sent to Frankfurt for an autopsy. The National Weather Service has issued a flood warning for all of our listening area. Between one and a half to four inches of rainfall is expected through Thursday night. The excessive rainfall could lead to flooding, especially in low-lying areas, and may cause streams, creeks, and rivers to run high late into the week and into the weekend. Stay tuned to this Wallingford broadcast station for weather and high water updates. An accident at the Georgetown Toyota plant has claimed the life of a male employee of a contractor at the plant. Authorities say the victim was caught between the fifth wheel and a trailer. The victim was an employee of the Ryder Company, a contract hauler for Toyota. His name has not been released. The former Jackson County treasurer has entered a guilty plea to federal charges involving fraud and identity theft. Marissa Hempel has the details. 38-year-old Beth Salee of McKee was charged with wire fraud and aggravated theft when she allegedly drafted checks totaling $162,000. The money, according to officials, came from multiple Jackson County fiscal court accounts. They added that Salee also apparently forged employees' names on checks and manipulated records. She's said to be sentenced formally June 18th. For WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel. During the Tuesday night Berea City Council meeting, it was announced that Berea has been made a Kentucky Veterans Hall of Fame city. And in response to a reported sexual assault on the EKU campus, Berea Police Chief David Gregory urged Berea College students to exercise caution when walking on the campus at night. For more stories like these, tune to WBONTV.com. I'm Ron Michael.